Dr. Biddy Hughes, she's the marketing manager of the famed Westport House. We also have a vet with us in Killian Moran, and he's brewing his own beer right there on the slopes of Croke Patrick. Also joining us is author Terry Riley, who's going to tell us about Knock Airport, and we have a few more people we'll also talk to in the airport. But Biddy, I might start with you, uh, Westport House. We talked earlier with uh, the town architect, Simon Wall, uh, the town being divided into three, the port, the house, and the other town. Tell us about the house. So Westport House was originally built in um, 1730, the original house was built, and I guess people don't realise how central the house is to Westport. The town is built all around the estate, and the fact that the town itself is, the pretty town it is, is very much as a result of the Brown family and their planning of the town, employing an architect to um, canalise the river, straighten the river effectively, which works most of the time. Um, and, and plan the town in the beautiful structured format that it's in. So in the old days, Billy, would the, the town literally have sort of started on the front lawn of the house? Is Cochran that really Marth, how it evolved? Absolutely. Cochrane Marth, um, which is Westport in, in Irish, was originally on the front lawn of Westport House. And the Brown family who have originally built the house and are still there today, 300 years on, amazingly, they employed James Wyatt to plan out Westport Town into the beautiful Georgian town that it is today. And isn't it a, a huge commitment for a family like that to, to stay dedicated to that cause? I'm sure it wasn't always profitable. Oh, I'm gosh. sure they've had their trials and tribulations. But, you know, to come through all those hundreds of years intact in the same family it's and amazing. the house to be right in the centre of the town. It is. It's amazing, I have to say. And it's, you know, the, the Jeremy and Jennifer Altamont originally opened the house in 1960 and you heard Minister Ring talking about in the 80s that Westport was a very um, depressed town. If you think about the 60s, you know, there really wasn't any tourism in Westport, so it was a really brave step on their part to open the doors and really um, establish Westport as the tourism town that it is today. Now, you've had over 4 million visitors since you opened. Over right? 5, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. In, 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 and what keeps people coming to the house? What's up there? I and mean, I'm sorry I haven't been there. I know I did the Greenway. I couldn't do everything. You can't do everything. I'll go and see the house another day. But tell me what's going on up there. I will, of course. So the, the centrepiece of the whole attraction is the beautiful historic house itself. And it has been called the most beautiful house in Ireland. But then um, in order to keep that house open and keep that piece of Irish heritage alive and available to, to people to enjoy, the family have created a whole bunch of other attractions around that. So you've got the Pirate Adventure Park, which is themed after Grace O'Malley, the original Wild Atlantic woman, who is yeah. a 14th great-grandmother of the girls who run the house today. Um, the Pirate Adventure Park is full of rides and slides and boats and trains for children under 12. Then you have um, the Caravan and Camping Park on site. We have um, an adventure activity centre with um, two partners, Adventure West and, and the Adventure Islands. You bring a whole range of activities to the site. It's been established as the premier events venue on the west coast of Ireland. We have a varied events calendar throughout the year. Right. And the house is open now from the 1st of March until the end of December. All right. Well, listen, keep doing what you're doing because that's absolutely fantastic.